Welcome to Agricultural Science class. In our last class, we discussed about agro-aligned industry and the relationship between agriculture and industry. In our class today, we'll be talking about agricultural ecology. What is ecology? Ecology is the study of the relationship between organisms and their environment. You know, I told us that our topic today is agricultural ecology then you pick it one after the other. We all know that agriculture is divine as the production of crop and animal for man use. Why ecology is divine as the relationship between organisms and their environment. The study of an individual organism or a single species is termed autocology. The study of just one organism, just one, is autocology. The organism might be bacteria. For just the study of that particular bacteria is called autocology. Why? The study of a group of organisms is called synecology. The study of a group of organisms is called synecology. So that means this is more than one, more than one organism. Human activities have interfered with the with the complex ecology ecological relationship. And some of these human activities that interfere with the ecological relationship are landscape farming. You know, in a in this landscape farming now, if you want to clear the land, you know they would have to use a bulldozer and everything. You know, you bring in a big tractor to the farm. You, know, you have to clear the land extensively. You know, have to make the land clean. The process of you bringing that the machine, you know, it is a woman activity, is a woman activity, to bring the machine to the farm and trying to clear the land. That under it is interfering organism, interfering with the environment. And that one is oil exploration, construction, urbanization. Then what is agricultural ecology? Agricultural ecology is the study of the ecology of agriculturally productive region. Agricultural ecology. Agricultural ecology is a technique of sustainable farming that focuses on utilizing natural resources comprehensively without letting them be susceptible to, da to damage. With, th with this type of farming at hand, farmers can instantly develop better solutions to improve their environmental and economic pressures. Agricultural ecology seeks, seeks, seeks to optimize the relationship and interaction between the animals, the plants, people, and the environment. It combines science with traditional, practical, and local producers' knowledge. We have components of agricultural ecology. Agricultural ecology is made, of, it is made up of both living, which is bio, biotic, and non-living, that is a biotic component, and together they constitute the ecosystem structure. The non-living matter constitutes the abiotic factors, while the di different living organisms such as the plants and animal in their environment are called the biotic factor. The abiotic factors are known as the physical factor of the environment, which is the climate factors, the physiographic, and also the adapic, which is the soil factor. The soil factor is everything that happens on the soil. You know, bush burning too. Are one of the things that have been done on the land is still with the soil. Cleaning, clean clearing, like we want to clear the land, are things that have been done on the soil, which is still on the land. Grazing and overgrazing are things that are done on the soil, and those are the factors. That, that, those are the phys physical factors of the environment. That is under the abiotic factors. Now, the biotic factor, the, bio, the biotic component includes the living things, which, is, which are crop plants and farm animals. 
The biotic components can be grouped into two classes. We can classify the biotic factors into two, which are the heterotropic and the autotropic. The autotropic. This is a group of organisms which can be which can use sunlight or chemical to manufacture their food from from inorganic substance during the process of photosynthesis. In other words, autotrophs are organisms, mainly crop plants, which are capable of synthesizing their own food. And they are called the producers. This autotroph, they produce their own food. And they are mostly crop plants. And they, are cap they produce their own, like their own food. They are called they are the producers. They produce their own food. Producers are green plants or autotrophs, which traps the energy of sunlight, radiant energy or solar energy, and converts it to chemical energy. We said biotic factor has two classes, can be classified into two, the autotrophs and the heterotrophs. The heterotrophic is a group of organisms, mainly farm animals, which cannot manufacture their own food but depend directly on plants for their food and farm animals that feed directly on green plants that are producers are called herbivorous or primary consumers which are the cattle sheep and goats and our rabbits while animals or organisms that feed on primary consumers are the carnivores or secondary consumers. Mm -hmm.